Hi, I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. Today's trailer is satanic, all right. It's the satanic rites of Dracula. This is the eighth and last of the Hammer Dracula series. Uh, it's, well, it's the eighth if you count Legend of the Golden Vampires, which I don't count. Uh, so it's really the seventh, but it was the last one. And it took quite a while to get uh, released in America, and you'll hear why. It's happening right now in London. New York could be next. This is Hammer's second attempt to modernize Dracula in the wake of the Exorcist and Night of the Living Dead, and it doesn't work. But it is better than the previous groovy entry, uh, Dracula A.D. 1972. This is by the same director, uh, Canadian Alan Gibson, whose credits include a lot of Avengers episodes, and in fact, Joanna Lumley I is in this, and whose work is a bit more stylish here than it was last time. This rather protracted devil-worshipping scene, which gets repeated frequently uh, in the movie, is actually supposed to be a favorite of real devil-worshippers, I'm told, among my devil-worshipping fans. The picture doesn't really work, but what I like about it is the apocalyptic tone. Dracula is masquerading as a Howard Hughes-like tycoon, D.D. Uh, D. Denham. He's sort of a Bond villain, CEO of an evil multinational corporation, aren't they all? And his whole deal here is he has a death wish, and he doesn't want to just die for good, having been tired of being resurrected for, you know, f 15 minutes at a time in each previous episode. But he really wants to take the whole world with him, and so he is uh, planning to uh, destroy humanity by loosening bubonic plague. Christopher Lee, whose attitude toward these pictures by now is fairly well known, used to complain that the reason he did them was that Hammer told them if he didn't do these pictures, the people would be out of work, and that he, he owed it to them. He has a little more to do here, and uh, Peter Cushing is in good form as a Van Helsing descendant. Is that what you want, Count Dracula? A last blaze of utter horror and violence, ghastly annihilation of an entire planet. Is this your own death wish? The problem with the movie really is that the series goes out with kind of a whimper when Dracula's demise is basically getting caught in a hawthorn bush. Now, I don't remember any previous episodes that had anything to do with hawthorn bushes, but by now I guess the Hammer guys were making up their own. Um, but more, just to try to be different. Warner sat on this picture for several years, and we kept expecting it, and it just never came out. So Max Rosenberg bought it uh, in 1978 and released it in a cut version titled Count Dracula and His Vampire Bride, uh, which came out in 1978. It is a kind of an unfortunate swan song in that the original picture was so good, but uh, it's still better than a lot of people give it credit for. Revenge has spread over centuries! 